Hey Sagittarius, so what's going on you guys? This is going to be a general reading for the month of March. All right, Sagittarius, I already see you're on the go. <laughs> I don't know what y'all got going on. Okay, so y'all could be business minded right now. Got y'all mindset on something. There could be something from the past coming up. Okay, they may have a hold on you or may have you kind of not being able to move. Or maybe you guys have become aware of something and now you are able to move. You're able to move forward, forward in the right direction towards something here. Six of Wands, yeah. I feel like you guys are having a victory in the home. Okay. Sage, look at you. All right. So you're balancing out like responsibilities, burdens, anything that is like that was weighing down on you. You're figuring out a way to balance this out. Okay. Yeah. You overcame some hurt that you probably didn't think that you would, or you thought it was going to take you a long time to recover, but it actually didn't. Maybe six weeks to six months, six days to six weeks, <laughs> because with this six of wands, that's pretty fast. Okay. That's pretty fast. Oh yeah. Okay. So the tower is here and the sun is here. Okay. Yeah. Um, the sun is under the ten of wands, which is just confirming what I said earlier about you finding ways out to get all of these uh, burdens situated, all this baggage. Like you released, you looked over like everything that needed to be done. You created like a budget or a schedule or a plan or uh, you know however you did it. <laughs> you figured it out. You figured out how to like gain, get more money in like overnight like in your sleep okay so i am seeing that you were like i said you were feeling your feelings were hurt when you found out about something or when something was enlightened like something became uh something was illuminated here brought to the surface you saw it clear as day but you knew it though something somebody here knew something already Sagittarius, a Scorpio may want to um, reconcile with you. Okay. I'm seeing Leo here and I'm seeing Pisces here. Y'all can have this in y'all chart. Sagittarius, y'all are really... Uh, <laughs> y'all didn't pull really any... Uh, in this first set, any air sign... I mean, not air sign, swords. You pulled one which was the three of swords, but everything else is like really fiery and like on fire. Okay. So like I said, you let something go, whoever you let go or whatever you let go, they're coming back in secretly to work on something. They just got to get a, a plan. It looks like somebody here want to have a plan ready. Okay. You're communicating, you're moving. Oh, you move the sun twice. You move. You're moving somewhere that is like nice, or you're excited about this. Uh, temperance. Again, the temperance on top of temperance and King of Pentacles on top of Ten of Wands. Like I said, you handling stuff or somebody that you are with is like you don't have any worries your partner or your boo or whoever this is they got you or you just found balance within yourself somebody could see you sad to be getting something that you want and I don't feel like it may not be in like a malicious way I don't feel like it is I just feel like this person they kind of envy you a little bit this could be somebody you grew up with or somebody that you've known since a child or that you have a child with. Oh, yeah. Sagittarius, y'all and y'all energy. But you might want to, you need to be careful now. Somebody from your past. Mm -mm, you do not need to get with them. Like, 
This could be a Scorpio or another Sagittarius. Don't don't get back with this person. Somebody here is selfish and they sleep around. I am seeing that. I don't know who this is though. Because I have fire and water right here. Pisces is here too. So the person you may need to, I don't know who this may be for somebody, but the person, there is somebody here that they sleep around. This could be a Pisces, a um, Scorpio, another Sagittarius. I see Leo here too. Leo is here as well. Where is the... Um Okay, but outside of that, somebody is um, somebody is getting what they want. If that's not your story about this person sleeping around, then you're good. Like, this is good. But I do see somebody sleeping around and coming back home to a person. Okay, so the person that you could have let go, this person could be in false energy or they were in false energy. Sorry about that, y'all. They are sending you a message. You don't trust them. Main female. Because you feel like they want something from you anyway. This person trying this person wants to reconcile with you so they can show you like <laughs> they want to show you that they are like uh official. But you look at them like you don't you don't pay them any attention. You look at them like no, I had conflict with you. I had conflict with you before over a heartbreak. Not just any type of conflict. Yeah. Where you weren't you weren't who you said you were. So I don't trust you. Boom. Yeah. For this for this person. For whoever this woman is or yeah whoever this whoever the individual is that is like not trusting this person it's over with for them like they're not gonna get back with whoever this is <laughs> they're not gonna reconcile with this person because they already know everything they need to know they're protecting themselves from this person and their intuition is right on point and it's leading them in the direction that they, sh they should go in this person will stay a hermit before uh, interacting with this individual okay so somebody here is going out a new path yes somebody here is going out a new path with their actual like match Somebody more mature. This person have Leo and Pisces in their chart. Someone does not understand this. For a lot of y'all, this person does they don't understand that they are under judgment, like by you. They want to come towards you so bad, but you have released them, like, and you really be wanting to tell them a piece of your mind, but you don't. You tell them a little bit, but you don't really even communicate, for real, for a lot of y'all. Somebody here is born in July. This person could be getting good communication, or somebody here may be wanting to, wanting to come to this person's house, or this person may want to come to your house. Uh -uh, give me one card. You're wanting somebody here is wanting to work on something with another whole other person. That they feel like they'll be more successful with. They 
they may be trying to get some things in order. Okay, yeah. So somebody here was in somebody who had been in conflict before. This could be past ener past energy, but somebody here was in conflict with a person because um somebody went to another woman or they had like a mystery or so somebody on the side there there was a little distance away and they went off to that person and just left you that's here I'm gonna have to go back and listen to this reading because <laughs> I got Sagittarius in my chart Yes, okay. Fear, worries, tense situations. Okay, yeah. So, somebody, either somebody feel hurt by you, Sagittarius, or you hurt somebody. When they had, like, they was, they had deep love for you. Or this person is so, like, they could, they will have, they have a deep connection here they connect deep on deep levels so if you cross this person they close the coffin like it, it is over with this person is very spiritual because the four of wands and the high priestess is here i guess somebody's ego was too big or something here at one point and they did something that this somebody they just won't take that from people lighthearted carefree time so now someone is having a better time with a, another person <laughs> that ain't such a serious Either you having fun in your new situation or this is going to be happening soon. Or it could be the other way around. The person, the cross watcher. It could be you cross watcher. Now Sagittarius, y'all could be going somewhere in July. Like I said, you could be relocated. You don't have to be. But in July, in July there are going to be like a lot of changes taking place. okay so let's go ahead yeah somebody was getting recognition in a situation and somebody just decided to like mess things up with them that person want to come back in because they see somebody just dropped it somebody just let it go somebody ego was hurt okay they didn't want to have conflict no more. And they tried to, like, talk to the person. But somebody here had went off to somebody else. Or started dealing with somebody else or had a connection with them. Because somebody could still be in a relationship. I do see conflict and communication with somebody. And they moved on to somebody in July. Uh, born in July or in the month of July and this person like went they went through a transformation with this individual or they go through transformations with whoever this is somebody here could have ended it with them but they still deeply care about this person Because they, they don't have something in order. Or they're too flighty. I'm seeing that too. Someone is learning a lot. I don't know this. I know they, um, or they learned a lot from whoever this is. Nine of Cups. And all they want is to, is to come back together. So they can show this person, I could change your life. They could be going through it right now with the, uh, they're trying to figure out a way to get this together because 
they see is not is not stable they can't really come through like they can't really show the person because this person has fears and worries about what will take place because of what took place Um, burdens could be really, really weighing somebody down, but to the point that they could, they could be about to have a breakdown. Somebody here could be juggling multiple jobs, or they can't stay at a steady job, or they don't have a steady income. They're learning a lot throughout this. They just need some guidance. I do see somebody come becoming aware of what they want to do in the near future, like what it is they really want to do, or they're becoming aware of who they really are to step into their um into the higher vibration so they can have a better time, more peaceful time here on earth. All right, so Sagittarius, let's see what energy you need to be embodying or the advice for you guys. Sagittarius. Alchemy. Resistance. Yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all letting something go with the flow. Creativity and joy. So this is what I feel like. So this is the energy you need to be in. You need to be in alchemy resistance creativity and joy so you need to be creating joy for yourself and not resisting uh whatever those activities are or actions are like whatever it is you need to do um when you do this you can you could be giving other people joy like you could be helping other people and making other people feel good with whatever this is that you need to stop resisting so forgiveness somebody here you want forgiveness from them and for a lot of y'all y'all need to forgive somebody else and you need to get grounded because if some of y'all were wondering why it was so hard for you to level up is because there are things still that you have not cut the cords <laughs> 